the Jedi code is like an itch. He cannot help it. Where is he? Welcome to Explosion Network's Obi-Wan After Show, where we have been breaking down, discussing, and reviewing each episode of the Disney Plus original Star Wars series, Obi-Wan Kenobi. My name is Dylan Blight, and joining me, Ashley Hobley. Hey, Dylan, excited to be here because you said the line this week. You did. It was exciting. Time to go home. That's all I needed. 10 out of 10. Best cool. episode of the, the season because he said Good the line. season. Let's move on. Let's move on. Good job. Join us next time for another. All new episode of... Hello, Hello there. Interest. Oh, Hello, Hello. Sure. <laughs> um, all right, you're gonna before I move on, you're gonna hit me with whatever's dumbass synopsis they got. <laughs> the action packed special event finale. What's so special about it? It was a 50 minute episode, but it was this no, I think it was referring to the series as a special event. Okay, right, and then it's the finale of it. Yeah, that part made sense. That part made sense. Um, well, I wasn't sure. Also, it was action packed. True, it was actually bad. So what really, did, this is the most accurate description. <laughs> what did you think of Chapter 6, Obi-Wan finale? It was pretty good. I mean, it didn't feel like an ending, but as you tweeted out, it's not really an ending, so I guess that kind of makes sense. But this feels like there's definitely more room for storytelling. Um, I was kind of... I think I was kind of disappointed at the, at the outcome of the Vader Obi Wan thing. You know, like, in what way? In that Obi Wan one, mm. I thought he's going to bury him in a bunch of rocks, and then he's just going to think he's dead, and then Obi Wan's going to escape, and that's to be the end of it. But no, he comes back, beats his ass, leave, and then uh, Darth Sidious is like, "Hey, I don't care about this Obi Wan dude. You need to get over it, and then we will move on." And that's how apparently. Obi- Darth Vader stops chasing everyone. Yep. Yep. So that was a little bit... Wasn't a huge fan of that. I uh, enjoyed all the Reva stuff. Uh, yeah, I was kind of... Su- I was surprised that that's how it went, but it makes the most sense. Uh, yeah. There was a lot to enjoy, I think. It was a solid episode. Uh, it just wasn't super... F- it didn't... Fill all my wants and needs or didn't leave me on a super high. You know what I mean? What about you, Don? I, there's lots I liked and lots I didn't, I guess. There's a, mm. it's certainly a mixed bag. So, like, if you, if we go to the thing everyone's going to be discussing, which is, of course, the Obi-Wan versus Vader fight, that's the, an, an actual fight, not like Vader just kicking um, Obi-Wan's ass. This is an actual choreographed fight and everything yeah. like that's everything everyone's been wanted. There was lots in this I really liked. I really liked the choreography of the fight. It was fast paced. Like there's lots of, you know, Obi-Wan just like spinning that lightsaber behind his back and like flipping around. You know, like it, it, it felt like they didn't do the poop thing. The, no, but it still poop. felt it still felt as close to prequel esque lightsaber fights that we've had in Star Wars in some time, which was cool. Mm-hmm. The thing I liked the most about the fight though was just the or in, in general, this series, I guess, is that several times, even last episode with the ship thing, they've used the force in like a yeah. really powerful way that you haven't really seen or they barely show in Star Wars. Um, and I thought that was really cool. So be that Vader like force pushing the ground and then like pulling all those things onto Obi-Wan, Obi-Wan like pushing those out, Obi-Wan doing a rock thing, which I'm going to say 100% wasn't like, I don't know. I mean, made me think of Ray, Last Jedi. I don't know if that's like done on Saying purpose up, or not. You know? But like the shot was very similar, um, it's, uh, which makes sense because, of course, you remember on Laura's of Skywalk, we found out she's actually a long lost relative of Obi Wan Kenobi. So um, that rumor came true. So it's, it's, it all did makes, it? Oh, sorry. I'm thinking about Earth 2, which I dreamt about being in <laughs> recently. The good one. Um, yeah. <laughs> but then the, the stuff I didn't like, similar to you. Like, there's something to be said for obviously him them sli- him slicing the helmet open explains the massive scar that he actually has on his face when you get to return the Jedi and where that that's that scar comes across. Obi Wan so, hadn't done enough damage to him. No, so that's what that is. I think it's. Co- I really like the way they interwove 
both Hayden Christensen's voice with James Earl Jones's voice, like that coming mm. off and on and the way that played out. I like that. But the thing I don't like, similar to what you're saying, is just how the fight ended. I would have much preferred the fight to play out a different way. Even if in that last moment, Vader, like somehow pushed Obi-Wan off somewhere where he thought that he'd like killed him. Like, I don't know. The fact that Obi-Wan just gets to walk away like and then with no yeah, repercussions ha- with no re- and and then yeah they just have it so that palpatine's like forget about him like i i too yeah i agree i don't i don't like that and even when the fight no. started i never had i was like in my mind i'm like there's so many ways i could still have this make sense you know there were so many outs i feel to have it like still explain why vader's not looking for him but yeah just having that be it oh palpatine said don't worry you know I, I didn't like that. Yeah, I, I agree. I didn't like that. But the fight and everything. Yeah, the actual my, fight. My, really the only problem I have with the fight, though, is the setting. So having this fight take place on this random planet where they're just surrounded by rocks, and then we're interweaving this with another scene where they're on a fucking desert planet, and they're both set at nighttime, and there's, like, nothing really visually interesting about either scene. And I know maybe it's done on purpose with the Vader Obi Wan scene because it's like, well, the lightsabers again look really cool because you got nothing around them and whatever. But I'm like, I don't know we kind of already did that. I they wanted I to make pref- sure there was no high ground. Yes. Well, I mean, to be fair, Vader had the high ground. He still lost because he's a little bitch. So I mean, they. <laughs> <laughs> and I was really annoyed. He actually didn't say that. I was like, come on, say it. <laughs> Who has the high ground now? Obi Wan slams rocks on his face like. <laughs> get fucked <laughs> that would have been great <laughs> um but yeah, yeah i was like just having these two scenes like play off one another where they're both at night time in a very boring settings so mm. I, I didn't think made for a visually interesting television program slash setting um so alongside that then we've got the other part so let's let's break down the other part so while vader and everyone are having this fight on a planet, I don't know if they even said where it was. Doesn't matter anyway. You then have um, Owen and Breyer. Breyer? No, I'm not Breyer. Beru. 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 Sorry, I'm saying fucking all game. I'll, I'll get no B names getting confused. Beru pr- protecting Luke against Reva. I this was dumb. I did th- this again. <laughs> reminded me, like she's a Sith. Right, or or wannabe Sith, a fake Sith. Either way, she's a Force user. She got a big ass lightsaber. They're throwing boxes at her and shit. Like, it just felt dumb. She's injured. I know, but I'm just like. I mean, yeah, they don't didn't really stand a chance. Uh, Similar to Leia running away from those goons. Yeah, similar to Leia running away from the goons. I'm like, there's just a collection of scenes in this show, like two or three times, where it just really doesn't feel properly thought out stakes wise to make sense mm. or you know it just comes across cartoonish and not in a good way so that's how that came across i will say however i do enjoy the way reaver's story plays out i think she's definitely the best character that's introduced like new character i mean like introduced in this and the rumors of her getting a spin-off uh i would watch the spin-off i think she's i think She's a really interesting character. I think that she's a type of character we haven't actually seen before. Like, you, you tell me another character who was a youngling, witnessed her friends murdered by Darth Vader, played the the Long Kong to get to Vader, nearly ki- kills him, survives, and then comes around and turns back to the light side. Like, there's no other character like that. There's a lot of interesting. That's a very specific. Type it of is character, very specific, though. but it's not even anyone else that's similar, like or close to to that that character arc i feel like yeah so i feel like she was really and that i i honestly felt like some of the best acting also between two characters in the show was the scene where obi-wan's talking to her and she says have i become him and she's and obi-wan's like no you've because you've chose not to or whatever i felt like that was one of the strongest sort of character pieces Mm -hmm. from the the entire show so i really love that um but yeah i hope she gets a spinoff i would i would love for her to get a spinoff i think she's a standout character, really interesting character. I, I love the um, every the the direction and the twists and tw- turns that have with that character. So I have no problem with that. It was just the the Owen and Baru stuff that I was like, <laughs> you know, maybe not. I didn't love that, but um, and then the only 
Other thing that's annoying about this episode is we got fuck all Leia. <laughs> Similar to when I complained that she was stuck I mean, in an event for the most episode. <laughs> this is the yeah, same sort I of mean, thing. <laughs> she's so been so great all series. You just want more of her, but yeah. you know, we get two goodbye sequences. So I mean, we do touching goodbyes. So I mean, how could you not like that? You know. Well, I can tell you why. It's because I hate the several. There's also several scenes in this where people are just doing this whole blinking around the galaxy thing and apparently it doesn't matter anymore and Obi-Wan comes back and like I'm like oh he'll never leave and now he's like nah let me just fly an older one it's all good well he had to return the droid you know? it's all good in the hood yeah, yeah. but what I ha- before I forget I'll say what I hate him more than that is the fact that he's on some planet who knows where yep he enters hyperspace gets a tattoo tattooing yeah really quickly no that's not how hyper- they've explained that's not how like as you don't know, Wars, they could have been very quick. They could have been very close yeah. to Tatooine. The only way that makes sense is if they're literally right next to Tatooine. Also, we don't know how long they were in there. They were being chased. They were not being the- chased long enough, I can tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, she had to carry that boy all the way back uh, while she was injured. You know, she was going to go very slowly. You know, that the, the, the thing is they fucked themselves too because they could be like, look, I know in the show it's portrayed like those scenes are happening at the same time, but Mm -hmm. in reality they're not. And then I could be like, oh, okay, yeah, fair, fair, fair enough. But they fuck themselves because they have Obi-Wan be like, Luke, when he falls. So they've directly tied the time zone, the times together. together. So they fuck, they really, they hit themselves right in the foot, that one. So that's, that's, that's what I, I, a big mistake, I think. Um... Yeah, I did enjoy that last scene, like solely just to see more Leia. I love her putting on the little holster. I love all that sort yeah, of stuff. Yeah, so that's there. the holster that, uh, who is it? What uh, Tala had, right? Yeah. Yeah. That she that's then the holster forward. she would have in the future, right? Yeah. Presumably that's the one. Yeah. So now they've tied that yep. into that character, which is which is cool and everything. It's just like Han Solo getting them dice. Getting them right? dice. That's right. <laughs> yeah. This yeah, was no, a, no, this this was this wasn't an Obi Wan miniseries. It was, was a it was Leia's a Leia, holster Leia origin miniseries. story. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Leia was the high, one of the highlights of this show. Yes, yeah, absolutely. That's a funny thing for a character we didn't expect give us it, the, the, the further adventures of the Princess of Alderaan. Okay, you know? be interested, you know, because she's like, hey, I, I'm getting on board with whatever you need me to get on board with. I'd be keen for more Leia stories. Luke, I can do without. <laughs> yeah, Luke, I can. Luke, I can do without. Also, it was fine. He, you know, he ran okay. Like he, yeah, he yelled and screamed and ran okay. Good job, Luke. <laughs> Just like Mark Hamill, <laughs> yeah. did it well. And then, of course, the last thing you can't forget to mention. Can I just say did- I loved uh, Haja when he's like Kamal. Like, I'll, I'll talk to her. It's like. Like he's the, he's suddenly the yeah the fucking be all like father figure or something like that <laughs> yeah and that, but the moment that touched me is like hey he's like I have my you have my word I don't know if, how much the word of a liar and pretend Jedi and that kind of stuff means to you everyone's like it means a lot it's like he was very touched <laughs> it was very nice but yes okay Qui Gon Jean. Right at the very end. How do you feel about that? Kind of gypped like, <laughs> a little bit. It's like, oh, they're just tacking him on here at the end. You know? What? Quite, Liam Neeson came on to a green screen for like 30 seconds, shot it in between taken movies, and then... You know? They probably brought the green screen <laughs> to whatever he was filming at the time. <laughs> yeah. It said, put this wig on, put this costume on. Mm-hmm. Yep. Say this lot. Berate Obi-Wan, and then you can go. What took you so long? Ah, uh, let's keep going. You no weren't ready to, go. to. You weren't ready to to see me or whatever he says. Yeah. Yeah, I was. I was disappointed. I really thought we would see him. Like, I, I would have loved. I know it, maybe it is a little bit a too moment. cliche. Yeah. But I just wanted to. Yeah, I wanted to. Maybe even under those rocks. That's what I thought it was going to be. Yeah. You know, he needed no, it was to speak. power of love. That's yeah. what I've got. I mean that works too. I guess it's not the worst, but I guess. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, it, it was cool to see Qui Gon. It was cool to see Liam Neeson, like in that costume, in the costume. and everything. But yeah, I just, I was like, damn, I want okay. more now. <laughs> I want more. Yeah, just, I would have preferred that. Yeah, had that as an actual moment, as an actual like help, rather than like, a tidbit. Yeah, just a little cap off. Yeah, I like how they also end the series by him being like, "I'm not going to watch too much over the kid anymore. I'm going to move from." All the fucking way over here, because he was living out in butt fuck nowhere where he had to use binoculars to watch the kid anyway. And he's gonna move all the way over to butt fuck nowhere over here where he also has to use binoculars to watch the kid. Either way, I'm like, I don't know why you move. Like, like, I'm getting new. I'm gonna build a new house. Yeah, you know? I'm not gonna pay my, as much attention because I'm sure he's gonna be fine. Uh, even though he almost died and it, he was probably going to die, <laughs> it's fine. Just I think, like, I feel like the main- Luke would have been dead if the killer hadn't changed their minds. Let's be honest. Possibly. <laughs> yes. Well, no, he 100% would have been dead. <laughs> yes. I feel like one discussion point of this going forward is going to be, so Obi-Wan Kenobi is a character who twice fails to just finish off Darth Vader. Just, just finish it. Imagine the lives that would have been saved. If Obi-Wan, instead of holding some Jedi- you know, Cree that he, you know, he won't, he won't do it. Mm. Like I just, just got it over with. First time he leaves him because he thinks he's dead. Second time, don't tell me he thinks he's dead at then. He leaves him. I, the only funny part about that end is how they tie in the the New Hope thing that everyone always makes. So I don't know if it, there's a thing in the New Hope that everyone always makes fun of, which is the fact that Obi Wan in the New Hope says calls Vader Darth, like refers to him Darth as in his first name's Darth, which doesn't make sense because <laughs> Darth is a title. Um, yeah. So they rec- they've tied that into this by having him say goodbye, Darth, or whatever. So they've made it a the made a thing. thing. But why? Yeah, I'm like, why does he not do the killing just, blow? Just cut his head off. It's not even your friend anymore. You said no. your friend died. Yeah, you said your friend died, and he said his friend died. Now he said that you didn't even kill him. He said that he killed Anakin. So you don't have to worry. You didn't. Do you would be avenging Anakin. your friend. Yeah, you're avenging your friend. You're killing this other guy, Darth. Like, just kill him. <laughs> like, imagine all the lives Obi Wan would have saved if he, even now, in this moment, had just chopped Vader's head off. You know? No, he had to be like a mopey bitch. Yep. Leave him, to, leave him alive. Which is another problem with the whole, like, having him the whole thing. Away. Having him win win. Yeah. Yeah. Because now, not only is it makes it the Vader thing. Oh, Palpatine says no, but also just makes you be like, fuck sake, Obi Wan. Like, the Jedi Order's over. Like, who cares about your bloody religion at this stage? Just chop the head off. Chop the head off. Get it done with. Don't. It's for, would have kept Leia and Luke safe. Exactly. Fucking hell. Um, also, apparently, Obi Wan's like, fuck it. I'm not, I'm not interested in training, training him anymore. Yeah. He's like, no, I learned that he has to be a kid. Somehow, don't I don't know, know where. I don't know why he suddenly came to that either. Because you can't say it was from being with Leia. I don't know if Leia's really being a kid. She's running around. I mean, to a degree, she's running around exploring, but she's not being a normal kid. She's being a fucking weird kid who likes to run yeah. off and princess. Yeah, yeah. She's learning how to be a princess. Yeah. So yeah, I really, I, I did like him telling you her about her parents. Yeah, that was nice. That was, that was nice. nice. Yeah. Well, how fucked up will it be in the future when Leia learns that her parents were actually Darth Vader? It's like, I had this vision in my head of these great people, and one of them's the foot soldier of the Emperor. Lies and slander. I know. Also, I like when, I don't like when um, or, uh, Bail Organa, Gorga, uh, Bail Organa's like, the empire is growing stronger. I'm like, mate, the empire is literally in charge. Like, what? What? Are you, <laughs> what like, it's yeah. They're growing stronger, really. They're they're really? literally they're, they're, they're raining. Like they're building something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I heard they might be building something circular. In yeah, the sky somewhere. Is, <laughs> I would really not buy any property on Alderaan. I yeah. Think, <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. Yeah. I don't know. Any other random things from this episode? Or the season as a whole, I guess? Or this show as a whole? No, I think, you know, it was enjoyable. Do you think there's... Do you think they do a second season or another Obi-Wan story? 
I think I'll do another once if the numbers have held. Like that, we know that it did um, massive season uh, episode one. Episode numbers. one. If the numbers didn't drop off drastically after that, and they have like the show is ultimately one of the most viewed things on Disney, then the numbers are just going to make like the numbers are going to speak for themselves. I reckon I'll do another one. Um, do I want them to do another one? No. I think the problem with this I have is this series really does feel like it would have been better off as a movie and not a TV show. And which is funny because that's how it started. You know, this was supposed to be a movie. Mm. Then they extended it to make it a TV show. I don't know if you would have loved Leia as much if it was just a movie though. I don't know. I think she's the part that grew the most. But why can't I keep all her stuff in and cut some of the stuff out? (laughs) No? Is that not how it works? Yeah, I don't know. Just... So you got to fit all the Reaver stuff in there at the same time and you got to get all these timelines and everything. Yeah, I think it was just too big for it. I would much prefer, like, it stretched out a little bit than, like, than a squished-in movie that's, like, cut down to just key plot points. You know what I mean? Yeah. But, yeah, I, I think they will do another one. I just, I don't. I don't know if I'm down for another, yeah. oh, shit, Obi want us to leave again. Yeah. So how many projects do we think are getting spun off out of this? So we think the Reaver? I think Reaver for sure. I think that's it. You don't think we get the Resistance O'Shea Jackson? No. <laughs> Joel Johnny and May Oskin? I think they might have his character show up in something else. Like maybe he shows up in Andor. Yeah. I that feel like they'll, they'll they'll provide voices and stuff. Like, as they're filling in this period. Maybe. But if I had to guess, I would say, yeah. Re- Reaver spin-off series is good. R- Roken shows up in Andor. And then Haja we never see again. Out of all the... Uh, Sorry. And then everyone will get a is... novel. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> He'll get a comic something. book, you know. Yeah. Because, yeah, we're, 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 uh, when is Andor? Like a month now, I think, right? I can't remember the exact uh, air date. Let me quickly have a look, see here. Andor. Da, 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 da. Uh, why doesn't it say the date? That's not helpful at all. Oh, August 31st. So, yeah, a bit over a month. Yep. Jeez. Couple months. Coming up fast. We well, used to a lot longer between these series. That's two months, really. Yeah, there's two months, true. Good point. Yes. <laughs> Good point. But we know that one's getting two seasons is the other thing. Like yes. Compared to coming into this and being like, all right, this is a miniseries. We're going into or is Andor. It? Yeah. Well, yeah. We, we went into Obi-Wan thing into miniseries. It may get a second season. Um, but yeah. at least you're going into Andor knowing that it's at least it's, two seasons. It's done. It's at least two seasons. Yeah. Like maybe more, but at minimum two. So that's going to be really interesting. Yeah. So. Um, all right. Well. I think that's it for Obi Wan. I think ultimately, this was a good show, not a great show. Does that yeah. does that sound about right? I like think so. Yeah, I, I feel show. like what I enjoyed is just the feeling of seeing. It's just the feeling of seeing like Ulan McGregor again. But I would rate that over like just the general plot of this show. Like the, the you general- would have, you probably would have been happy if it was just him on to- to Tatooine, like watching probably. Luke through binoculars. Probably. Doing, doing some sand gardening. Yeah. I you know, loved it. Just cutting really fish. We loved it. Yeah. But I, I do think that the plot of this show was the weakest part. Would you agree or disagree? I guess. Cause Especially I'm when the that. motivation of the main villain is not revealed to the second last episode. I mean. Yeah. I, I feel like the plot was the weakest. Not to say all the characters were bad. Like, as I was saying, I really loved Reva. I really mm. loved Leia. And, like, I loved these characters. And, that, like, obviously Reva's a new character. Leia's, like, a, yep. a new direction for an existing character. But, yes. like, I love them. I just think the overall plot of the show was the weakest, just, like, whatever part. Like, seeing, having Hayden Christensen come back, even though it's only for these small parts, you see him. Great. Having Will McGregor back. Fantastic. This young girl... Vivian Lira Blair playing Leia. Fantastic. Mo- mm-hmm. M- Moses Ingram, Inquisitor. Great. Rupert Freen, Grand Inquisitor. Grand. Yeah. yeah. Whatever. You know, some of these other characters, cool. Whatever. But yeah, the overall, good series. Not great. 
Definitely better, a thousand times better than Boba Fett, though. So, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. yeah. Ian McDermott came back. That was the other thing. True. For Ian McDermott came back for, for five seconds. Again. Who do you think had the longer scenes? Had shooting time, Liam Neeson or Ian McDermott? Uh, Both the Ian whole games, right? Ian McDermott, I mean... He had to put like more face makeup. He had to put on, more makeup on, so it would have yeah. taken longer. Yeah, yeah. He needs to put a beard on, I guess, but I don't think that takes yeah. as long, surely. And the wig, I mean. Yeah, and the wig, but yeah. still. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, that'll do it for this episode of Hello There, a podcast that may or may not come back if they announce a second season. Until then, we'll be though, make sh- Hello There again, maybe. <laughs> Until then, please subscribe to the Holocon Entries. That is the podcast feed where all of our Star Wars shows post, including The Mandalorians, uh, The Very Bad Batch, whatever our and or after show is called, which we're going to have to figure out very soon in two months. Three days of the and or. I hate it. Follow all of our Twitters but, by but, heading... But my backup is Tinker Taylor Space Spy. I still hate it. Follow all of our Twitters by heading to explosionnetwork.com slash Twitter and join our Discord, explosionnetwork.com slash Discord. Feel free to tweet or post on our Discord what ideas you have for our Andor series. Help us out. Um, you do not get the copyright. We'll take it. If you like this episode <laughs> and you would like to tell us, head on over to explosionnetwork.com slash support to donate as little as the show. Uh, as little as a dollar to help support the show, Holocron entries, all of our Star Wars content, the website in general, and all those other things. And until our next Star Wars podcast, Please continue to be civilized.